to have more than just the world. War Chief Thrall, arguably the most powerful living shaman, has left his people behind so that he might stop the cataclysm at its source. Yet in his absence, the orc champion Garrosh Hellscream has become the Horde's new war chief. Though popular amongst the orcs for his victories against the Lich King, Garrosh's reckless leadership has begun to cause a rift between himself and the other leaders of the Horde. With Durotar's natural resources nearly depleted, Garrosh seeks to take whatever his people need to survive, regardless of who stands in his way. A dangerous new era for the Horde has dawned, and it falls to brave orcs like you to uphold the will of the new war chief and assure the dominance of your people. Hey guys, what's up? I bet you weren't expecting me doing the Horde side too. Well, I am. Uh, I kind of don't want to, but it kind of gives me a bit of a nostalgia feel. I actually started out on the Horde because, you know, I thought they were big, bad, and awesome. And also, the person that got me into World of Warcraft um, was originally a Horde, but got faction changed over to the Alliance. And now, like, I've kind of come to think that the Alliance is better than the Horde too, which they are in retrospect, but when it comes down to being geared and comes down to doing battlegrounds, they're actually a lot better than the Alliance are, at least on the server I am. On this ser on the servers that I'm using, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure at all. But yeah, it seems to be somewhat the same how it was before when I was just starting out in World of Warcraft. Let's, let's do that. Oh yeah, I didn't really work hard on the Hunter, so I barely have any mounts. Oh well. At least it would be weird seeing an orc ride on a Hawkstrider. <laughs> But anyway, I digress. Let's get down to it. We are doing the Orc Warrior, I believe. Yes, it is a warrior. Yeah, guys. We are going to do play through this. So what we got to do is slaughter baby boars. A lot easier said than done. Mostly because I have to slaughter so many of them. Oh yeah, I'm not sure when this is going to be uploaded, but um, New Year's was about an hour ago. <laughs> the New Year started like an hour ago. So, yeah, happy late New Year's. <laughs> oh, I'm a dick. But anyway, um, the reason why I'm doing both sides is because, well, I have somewhat of a commitment to, to my plan for my World of Warcraft. And also, I like leniency. I like changing it up a little bit. Once I get all these guys up to level 5 and the Death Knight out of the starting area, I'll b officially be able to, you know, wander off, do whatever I want. Like, I would be able to if I just stuck with the Alliance and then came to the Horde. But I kind of like, you know, having things in a structured way. To tell you the truth, I don't think I have all the characters on the Alliance up to level 5 yet. And, uh, and I definitely have the Death Knight out of the starting area. But the other characters, I'm not sure about that. I think I kind of just got bored with some of the characters and just stopped. And just let it sit there. I actually checked that <clears throat> once this guy's up to level 5. And if so, I'll go back to it. It's probably the dwarf, the dwarf and the gnome. And uh, I have nothing against short people. I just don't like the stores. Ah, why do I keep doing that? I keep saying words weird. But like I was saying, it. I just don't like the starting area. It's just so annoying to me. Like there are boring starting areas. Theirs to me have to be the most boring. Oregon starting area, obviously the most entertaining. 
because it's one of the newer ones. And none of the starting areas can beat that. But to me, one of the um, easiest starting areas has to be the human starting area because everything is just like right there. Which is kind of annoying in a way because you really don't get to explore much or really have to. Now here, out in the Barrens, not everything is where it is. And I think they updated some of these quests since last time I played. I don't remember having to kill these guys before. But I do remember having to get those apples. These guys, not really. In some way, this is kind of like the human, the human starting area a little bit. And, and oddly enough, I actually know more about the history of the Horde side than I do the Alliance. <coughs> All I know is that Hellscream is a dick. Um, the trolls have some kind of behind-the-lines vendetta with the frickin' orcs because of Hellscream. And a few other reasons. <coughs> and, yeah. Thanks to the orcs. All, A.K.A. Hellstream. Everybody's kind of like hating on the orcs. And, well. Things are kind of going shit on the board side. Thanks to Mr. Hellscream. And who knows when Thrall will be back. Cataclysm's over. I'm not sure when that little tune will take into effect. I guess after I actually kill Deathwing or something. Maybe maybe they'll update that little thing in the new expansion or something. I don't know. All I know is that uh, World of Warcraft needs to change up their uh, little trends for the better. And yeah, I know they said that they were trying to make World of Warcraft like it was in its early days. Vanilla Minecraft. Vanilla. I never got why they called it van vanilla for really any game, to tell you the truth. But, yeah, I digress. Um, they're trying to make it like vanilla Minecraft. Uh, why did I say Minecraft? Uh, World of Warcraft, where everything was, you know, harder and, you know, more immersive. Like it took a while to actually do things and you felt happy when you actually, you know, did something worthwhile. Aw, oh, damn it. I need to get the lower pets. And yeah, I know, like, I, n I didn't play the earlier World of Warcraft personally, but I know someone that did around the time that it did come out. And yeah, and even not playing it, I know, like, it was harder back then. You actually had to try at things to really succeed in doing anything. I get that. <clears throat> And now everything is all plain and simple because of all the new players and stuff like that. I get that. But Pandaria just doesn't fit to me. Not just because of the reason like they're trying to make it like old World of Warcraft. To me, I think that they should at least make a new trend out of this. Like, cause look at it this way. P Mr. Pandaria just doesn't fit. Uh, if World of Warcraft comes out. Like, this is how I see it. World of Warcraft comes out. and eh, this pro I probably won't like this game. A year after World of Warcraft comes out. Ah, oh, this is a good game. I'm gonna tell all my friends. <clears throat> Years later, more and more people start playing World of Warcraft. Then, the first expansion, the Burning Crusade. 
everybody's like, oh my god, so much new content, oh my god.